Hey, welcome to Healthy Prophetic 101. But we're trying to grow together to get sharper, more mature, more accurate, and more in tune with God to bless people by simply hearing His voice. The gift of prophecy is simply the ability to hear God. And if we're going to preach the truth that you can have a genuine relationship with Jesus, to have a relationship with someone, you need to be able to hear them, not just read about them. The best way to get a foundation is indeed reading the Bible. But to have an intimate relationship with someone, like I said, you have to have an open, real communication. So prophecy is honestly just hearing God's voice and communicating it. And hearing God for yourself is the absolute foundation before you start relaying message to someone else. So begin to hear God for yourself and develop a relationship with Him. And as you grow in that, you'll be entrusted with more and more scrolls, I'll say, messages to pass on to others like a faithful messenger with no agenda. Amen. But today, healthy tip number four is simply the difference between um, between declaration and discernment. Declaration and discernment. Let me explain what I mean by that. Let's say your gift of discernment is working, where you can kind of sense what someone's feeling, or you can sense a gift on someone's life. Let's say you're praying for someone, and all of a sudden, you sense that they have, you see Africa, and you see they want to go to Africa. Uh, many in their zealousness might prophesy, Thus says the Lord, you're going to Africa. <laughs> but a more mature approach would be saying, Hey, excuse me, sir. Um, I sense that you have a desire in your heart to go to the country of Africa. Do, is that something you want to pray about or pray with me about and ask when or if you're supposed to go? Do you see the difference? Just because I pick something up spiritually with my antenna, like someone's desire to go to Africa, doesn't mean I, God is communicating with me, you're going to be in Africa next year. <laughs> in your excitement, it might be fun to discern something about someone um, spiritually that there's no, no other way you'd know. It's called the gift of discernment. But I also like to call these, these knowings, these supernatural knowings, um, a, a, revel a form of a revelatory gift, a gift of simple revelation, a, a knowing gift. And it's very important to not jump ahead of God in your communication when you're praying or prophesying over someone. Amen? So let's uh, rewind back to about 2014. I was at a prayer meeting and um, I was praying over almost everyone in the room and it came to the man of the house's teenage girl and I began to pray and I saw a vision of her uh, swinging on a swing set. And I had no idea that in their yard was an actual swing set. So that was pretty cool. And I just simply said, um, young lady, I, I feel the love of God and I see you swinging on a swing set talking to, them, to him. Is, is that true? She began to, to just weep and cry hysterically and after she got a um a hold of herself she explained how she has been dealing with anxiety and depression and that she had been swinging um to talk to god it was for whatever reason the thing that calmed her down she'd go on the swing in her backyard and swing and try to connect with god so when i said that she felt so known and she realized, oh my goodness, God really was with me this whole time. <laughs> so when someone feels known and when someone feels that God really is actually spending time with her like she was aiming for in this alone time, it builds faith, it, it, it builds confirmation, and it made so much heaviness, spiritual heaviness, fall off her. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? Just the simple word, I see you on a swing. And it turns out this girl was a really great writer and a blogger. So she went and began doing online blogs. And I saw months later a blog mentioning 
the moment, but the most beautiful thing about the moment, she did not mention the person who prophesied. She simply mentioned the word she got from the Lord and how known she felt. Isn't that wonderful? And I only saw that girl once the rest of my life. I don't even think she knows who I am anymore. And that's good. If you want to work for God, that's good. You want to leave people feeling connected with God more than you. Amen. So let me summarize things up. The gift of, excuse me, dec- the difference between declaration and discernment. Do not make a declaration when you're simply discerning something. We make declarations like you're going to be in Africa when the Lord says you're gonna, someone's going to be in Africa. If you pick up that someone has a desire to go to Africa, then say, I feel you have a desire to go to Africa. I sense that spiritually. Let's pray together. So don't run ahead of God and make declarations from your discernments. Slow down. What is God communicating with what you've seen? If he's not saying anything about it, simply use a prompting question. I sense this. Is this something uh, that means anything to you? So it's very important to not be presumptuous and run ahead of God. The reason why I told the story about the girl is because it was such a clear vision. I was so filled with faith. I was tempted to run ahead with God and just say, you're going to start going on swing rides with God and you're going to talk and you're going to hear his voice. But I would have I would have taken away from the preciousness and the intimacy. And listen, she already was swinging with God. I was just there to affirm by saying that, that God was meeting her where she was inviting him to meet. Isn't that beautiful? I love you all. Remember tip number four, don't make declaration out of discernment unless God is leading you to. All right. I encourage you to go to my home wall and check out tips one, two, and three. These videos are usually only between three and six minutes. Last one was nine. But good morning. I hope you have a wonderful day in God. I hope you grow in hearing his voice. For you, number one. For others, number two. Bless you all.